Another two IEMs to unbox today. It seems like we've got a lot of new products in recently. Today we have the do new Titan S2 and the TRI i3 Mark III. TRI, man. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Hey, friends, team, welcome back to the video on Giz Audio. Today we have the TRI i3 Mark III. Now, I have not tried any of the previous i3s, so I can't compare any of those for you guys. And then we have the Titan S2, the long awaited second version of the very famous and I guess still famous Titan S. So let's start off with the Dunu first. Here's the front of the box. Big red bold color. Here's the back of the box with some more information. Slide out, you get the Dunu classic black box with the... Uh... These box types are always kind of like just a pain to open. I almost wish they'd never do this or at least put a ribbon in there or something. All right, finally. Got it open. <laughs> inside here, you get the do new nice carrying case here. And inside here, you get the, I'm guessing the cable and the IEM. Now this is the same Q-Lock Mini that you get on the Da Vinci cable. So you get the 3.5 here and the 4.4. Now the cable here is really, really nice looking. I mean, aesthetic wise, it fits in really well with the Titan S2 here. Altogether, looking like a very premium looking product. I mean, they just know how to do aesthetic stuff, man. What can I say? Cable quality wise, I'll say it's nice. Yeah. And for 89 bucks, you get this Q-Lock as well. Pretty, pretty good. And the items themselves, I mean, maybe I can do away with the red. I think the red is maybe a little bit too much for me. And it's also a reflective surface, which means fingerprints. Mm. Fit and comfort wise, I would say it's all right. I think most people are not gonna have a problem with this. There is a bit of like, I wouldn't say sharp or pointy, but there's something here that could potentially uh, be kind of nagging at your ear a little bit for those who have maybe smaller ears. Mm, I would say neutral bass boost, a bit of vocal forwardness, if you will. But the bass actually sounds pretty nice and dynamic. So pretty decent overall so far. Um, yeah, I have not much else to say about it. There's no immediate red flags at least, and there's some really good qualities that I can grab right out the bat too. So yeah, decent so far. Next is the i3 MK3 by TRI. Now they were known way back when I started the channel with the Star C, and, um, and then they just kind of fell off, as in they didn't really have any models that Took the limelight at all throughout the year so yeah i uh, i kind of miss hearing their names to be honest i haven't heard them in so long so this feels kind of a bit nostalgic in a way so let's open it up flaps like this oh so much better I, I love this 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 is nicer than the whole pooling thing yeah inside here you get this little uh cool nice piece of i guess cardboard information thingy and the im sit inside like so now this is just purple purple it is the most purple a purple can be i mean it's basically thanos at this point because this this cleaning cloth is also yellow so it's it's like um it's basically a, a thanos color scheme here it comes with quite a bit of tips you have foam tips here up front and in the back here you get quite a bit of silicone tips i'm gonna try them with the silicone now if i'm not mistaken this is a tri bridge so we have dd ba and planar so not your typical um dd ba est but this is ba dd planar cable is premium feeling like it's thick it has a little bit of memory, I think just because of how thick it is. But overall, it feels like quite a premium cable. I'm actually pretty, yeah, I like this, man. It feels nice and soft. In the ears it goes and comfort's great. No rough edges all around and it is fairly small as well. There's plenty of room left. So for those of you who have smaller ears, this should be no problem at all. You know what? For a planar, the timbre is exceptional. Like it's, it surprised me because normally planar have a lot of trouble and sometimes peaky trouble. So to have the timbre be quite natural sounding is a pleasant surprise to say the least. And the rest of the sound signature is also quite all right too. 
more mid-centric, I would say. The base is nice, it's punchy, though I don't feel like there's a lot of it, if you will. If you love bass and your goal is to listen to a lot of bass, you might feel this is a little bit lacking. But bass quality-wise, I would say it, it has it. Mid-range is also pretty decent and timbre is good, so... So far, so good. All right, that is it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Review for both of these IEMs will come in the near future. I am especially excited to continue to test the TRI i3 Mark III here. What a name. But yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, bye.